Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today we're going to create a product page with Metabox and Bricks. I created a product page about car rentals as an example. As you can see, this page contains the product's detailed information. All of this information will be saved in a post of a custom post type. The name of this product and its descriptions are the title and content of this post. The remaining detailed information will be saved in the custom fields. So we need custom fields to fill in the information. Let's see which tools we need for this practice. To easily create custom fields, I installed Metabox Core plugin. It's free and available on WordPress.org. We also need some Metabox extensions to have advanced features. You can download them individually or just use Metabox AIO like I'm doing. First, we need MB custom post type and custom taxonomies to create custom post types. Next one is Metabox Builder to have a UI in the back end to create custom fields easily. Lastly, you need Bricks Builder. Make sure you update to the latest version to have integration with Metabox. Let's start now. Go to Metabox and create a new post type. Then, in the admin dashboard, you will see a car rentals menu here. Let's create custom fields. Here are the fields that I created. Let's create them. First, choose the number field for numeric information, such as rental price, car year, and max passengers. For the car year information, you can fill in an example year here so that when entering information, users can easily understand and enter the information correctly. For the max passengers information, just enter numbers in the min and max value boxes to limit the number of passengers. Next, choose the select field to contain selective information. Then, just fill in the option in the choice box. For other information, select the text field. In this box, you can add some descriptions to add information to the field. To show the pictures of the car, choose an image advanced field to contain all of the product images. That's all for the custom fields. Next, move to the settings tab. Choose location as post type and select car rental to apply these fields to this post type. Now, when creating a new post in restaurant, you will see the custom fields here. You can enter the information to the fields. These are all the posts that I created. Now, let's create a template for the product page. Go to Bricks and create a new template for your product page. Select the template type as single. Then, edit the created template with Bricks. In the Bricks Visual Editor, go to Settings. Since this is the template that we've created, choose Template Settings, then Conditions to set the conditions for it. In the list of options, choose Post Type and select the post type you want to get the posts. In this case, it's Car Rentals. To show a single post from the chosen post type, move to the Populate Content section and select the content type as a single post. Then choose the post you want to get the data and display. Since I'll get the data and display it in two columns like this. One is to display the images of the car. The other one will display other information of the car such as name, 
description, rental price and cars details. So I insert this layout. Then, add a carousel element to display the images as sliders. Since all the images of the car are saved in a custom field created by Metabox, click the Select Dynamic Data button and find the corresponding field. Now, all the images of the car have been obtained. That's done for the first column. Now, let's get the data of the car and display it in the second column. Since the name and description of the car is post title and post content, add the post title and post content elements. To display the rental price per day, add a rich text element. Then, click the Select Dynamic Data button. In the list of options, you'll see the car rental's post type. Choose the rental price to get the data that is saved in this field. To display all the car's details, add a list element. To display the car year, I change the title item and also use the Select Dynamic Data button to find the corresponding field. For other car's information, do likewise. Save the template and see how it displays in the front end. All the information has been obtained, but there's no styling. Let's style it in the next step. Back to the Bricks visual editor. You can easily style the template on your own. In this practice, I just style it a little bit. This is how it looks in the front end. This is the end of today's tutorial. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials in the future. Bye.